For the remarkable urban fabric of New York, the One World Trade Center is a symbol of unique architectural and environmental standards. In the Western Hemisphere, this 104-story tower was the fourth tallest skyscraper in the world. In downtown Manhattan, the World Trade Center having the two iconic twin towers was a victory model for human creativity and invention to host more than 200,000 visitors each day. The tower's statue was put into reality in 1970 over a baseline of 1 million square feet. Undoubtedly, the tower was a business hub of New York and a site of attraction for monumental tourism from across the globe. In other words, Manhattan World Trade Center was the utmost devotion to America's progress and futuristic scrimping. In 2001, on September 11th, the World Trade Center became the imprint of massive terrorism, and the disaster was sufficient enough to radically make over America's skyline. The two planes walk out from the tower, causing massive structural deterioration. To this date, when two decades after the collapse have passed, the construction process to rebuild the complex is still incomplete. We have cropped up this video to figure out why the work to rebuild the tower is not completed, even after two decades have passed. Before we continue, Make sure to press the subscribe button as well as that bell icon in the bottom right corner to stay tuned for all the updates. Before we uncover the facts that have not led the construction process to resume, let us first highlight how the World Trade Center was no less than a dream born by the masterwork of human imagination. During the New York World's Fair in 1939, the concept of the World Trade Center was declared for the first time based on the vision of world peace through trade. Later on, when seven years passed since the New York World Trade Center, Winthrop W. Aldrich, one of the organizers of the New York Exhibition, put forward the idea of assembling enduring trade expositions in New York. This vision was appraised by market research as New York City was supposed to provide usefulness in modern refinement. Anyhow, the plan was tossed out at once. Later on in 1959, the notion was reclaimed and the construction process started in 1967. Feats of engineering in the construction of the World Trade Center were excellent to the extent that they went 70 feet down to reach the bedrock and used excavating machines to dig a channel that was three foot wide to catch up the bedrock. The slime and rock that were removed were then replaced by bentonite, a type of clay that keeps on expanding along the side hole of the trench. A seven-story high steel cage was lowered into the ditch and this 22-ton cage was filled with concrete. Long in, short, one million cubic yards of the landscape in New York City were put back and $90 million worth of landfill was supposed to become its Battery Park City when the largest skyscraper of the World Trade Center, along with the small towers nearby, was completed. They were assembled to hold nearly 100 passenger elevators, competent of carrying more than 10,000 pounds of load. Above this, they were put together from more than 200,000 chunks of steel bars manufactured all across the country. The construction process went on till April 1973, and the official ribbon-cutting ceremony was held on the 4th of April. The spectators of the ceremony passed the statement that this is no less than a dream coming true, which they have witnessed at that time. The towers of the World Trade Center held the title of the world's tallest building for less than a year when they were overstepped by Chicago's Sears Towers. Surprisingly, by 1983, the World Trade Center was spawning a revenue of $204 million and earned the title of the largest business hub. International trading started to push out to make their way for the world's largest business hub. In 1993, to test the structural virtue of the Twin Towers. Destructive bombs with power equal to 2,200 pounds of TNT flashed out in the parking garage of the second floor basement in the North Tower. Reports have suggested that six Islamic extremists were supposed to be convicted because of their communion with the hatch. Six people were killed, more than 1,000 were injured, and the devastating damage of $600 million was posed by the explosion. The Trade Center remained closed for 20 days and was reopened afterward with even more security and safety measures. Electronic identification badges were implemented in the parking garage. Later on, a total amount of $700 million was forked out by Port Authority for renovation. Security cells were upgraded, including battery-powered headlights, along with the emergency command center for each building. The Twin Towers went under attack on the morning of September 11th in 2001. The consequence of the two planes that crashed into the World Trade Center Towers on September 11th, 2001 was more devastating than any of the building's designers and engineers had ever visualized. The first plane yanked a hole in the North Tower 
from the 94th to the 98th floors, causing monumental structural deterioration and igniting some 3,000 of the 10,000 gallons of jet fuel the plane was carrying. The second plane affected the South Tower at an even faster speed, striking the corner and bashing the building from the 84th to the 78th floors. The heroic efforts of the city's fire and police departments and other emergency services helped 25,000 people escape from the site on 9-11 before the unthinkable occurred. The damage done at each point of the impact forced the physical weight of the towers to be redistributed, and the undamaged part below the hole had to support the floors above. At the same time, the fires raging in both buildings weakened the steel trusses holding up each floor. With damage to a greater number of floors lower down on the building, the South Tower gave way first, crumbling to the ground at 9.59 a.m., only 56 minutes after being hit. The North Tower collapsed less than a half hour later, at 10.28 a.m. Residue from the declining towers set fire to the remaining buildings of the Trade Center complex, including Seven World Trade, which burned for most of the day before losing consciousness at 5.20 p.m., crushed by blight, scare, and misery. New Yorkers and people around the world oriented their eyes on Ground Zero, where the fall of a treasured icon of American industriousness had left a gaping hole in the sky. Today marks eight years since the terrorist invasions of September 11, 2001, during which 3,000 New York citizens lost their lives. And the area enclosing the Twin Towers was all but eradicated, though it's been a long road back for Lower Manhattan. The nearly two decades since the attacks have been transformative. One World Trade Center, the central marks of the rebuilt complex, opened in 2014. Since then, Many other elements, including the 9-11th Memorial, a somber tribute to victims of the attack, and most of the skyscrapers planned for the historic WTC campus, have come to a climax. While the complex isn't quite finished, and some parts are still up in the air, it's getting closer and closer to completion. Construction has yet to begin on the tower that will put back an office building, inhabited by Deutsche Bank, that was vandalized and degraded by residue from the collapsing Twin Towers. The LMDC and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey in recent years chose a partnership led by Brookfield Properties and Silverstein Properties to develop the now cleared land as a 900-foot tower with office and retail space, in addition to 1,325 apartments. Deliberated as the second tallest skyscraper at the site, Two World Trade Center might someday reach 80 stories, but for now, just a low stump of a building exists as a placeholder, wrapped with colorful graffiti-style murals at the northeast crossroad of the Trade Center site. Developer Larry Silverstein has said he wants to sign a commentator tenant for the tower before starting construction. Despite the coronavirus pandemic emptying out office buildings, the now 90-year-old says he is confident a tenant will be found so the Norman Foster Design Tower can be built in his lifetime. At the end of the day, my goal is to put the shovel in the ground as soon as possible and complete the rebuilding project we started 20 years ago, Silverstein said in an emailed statement. After years of delays, the Ronald O. Perlman Executing Arts Center is under construction just to the west of two World Trade Center's future site and is planned to open in 2023. While an interpretation center was part of World Trade Center master planner Daniel Leibskin's original scheme, disputes over its budget and design endangered its viability. Ability. In the years after Frank Gehry and the Norwegian firm were tapped to design it in 2004, in 2015 the center's leaders declared a new team of architects, Joshua Prince Ramus of Rex Architecture PC, plus the firm Davis Brody Bond, who have designed a translucent glass and marble cube. Once finished, the art center's top floor will house a flexible set of spaces that can be fixed into one, two, or three theaters for drama, dance, film, and music. Free performances will take place on a small stage on the lobby level. All of the components are automated, so the walls move, the floor and the seats move, said the center's president, Leslie Koch. Perlman, the banker and investor, secured naming rights with a $75 million donation. Besides that gift, the $500 million center is being built with private donations and $100 million from the Lower Manhattan Development Corps, the agency created after the attacks to spur redevelopment. Former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg is the chair of the board and a donor. Plans call for 25% of the apartments to be designated as reasonable and rented at below market rates. But some community residents say that isn't good enough. They would like all of the apartments to be affordable. The universal demand was always that there be affordable housing, said Todd Fine, a lower Manhattan preservation advocate. 
Fine called 330 below market rate apartments, very minimal. And because of this, the World Trade site is still unfinished. Before leaving, make sure to give a thumbs up. Have a nice day until next time.